Instagram is a brilliant tool for language learning, for teachers and for learners. If you're a teacher, you could try and create your own hashtag for your class. You could encourage them to share daily, uh, daily examples of their language learning. You could create even a hashtag challenge for your students and for your classes, which could be a really fun way to create a sense of community and for them to share using something that they would use anyway in their daily life. If people are going to use social media, we may as well use it for good. You could also encourage students to share video. This could be a really great way for students to practice pronunciation, to practice uh, speaking out short sentences if they're perhaps a little bit nervous about doing it face to face. You know, if they want to just try things out and get some feedback. I found as, as a learner that the Instagram community is actually generally very friendly and very supportive and there's lots of people on there willing to help you and to correct you in a positive way and this can be really really beneficial as a language learner especially when you're distanced from, um, from your class or from other people learning the language. Um, Another way that you could use Instagram as a learner is to use the hashtag search. So you can search Instagram using hashtags. For example, if you're learning Korean, hashtag Korean. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. You can keep it really simple. Hashtag Korean, you're gonna find people like you learning Korean, um, people that already speak Korean, native speakers of Korean. There's also plenty of accounts on Instagram that share, for example, a word a day and things like this. Just you know, adding these things into tools and, and resources, aka social media that we use every single day, is just a really, really great way to maximize our time spent on these platforms.